Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are, you? how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what today I'm going to bring to you. Today my topic is, is how to develop um, research, action research project. So in order to uh, uh, know how to uh, develop action research project, we need to define what is uh, action research approach. So many times we cannot convey our personal feelings, our professional concerns to others on the job. So our researchers it has a good way to bring all the professionals, the researchers or educators together so as to discuss and collaborate what they have in their minds. So um, today the study and research was done by Kuhn and Quickly in 1997. Kuhn and Quickly define action research approach as it is a range uh, of groups or researcher collaboration to deep self self-reflection. So it is also to uh, seek um, improved knowledge and functions or knowledge or uh, working environment for the individual and it is also to strive to improve the education functions and working environment of an immediate group in a well-defined manner uh, through induction. So the critical reflection and the self-reflection are inherent to action research. And also, action research also defined as uh, to for emancipating the, the people from constraints of irrationality, suffering, oppression, and injustice, which disfigures their life, and bring them together, act together, to change and to challenge. Today, um, sorry, actually, there is a quote in um, Cool and Quick. quick, quick uh, Quickly, it say um, in order to, for all those who collaborate uh, in the research project, uh, were equally uh, both involved in disseminate, disseminating and applying results. Then you can see the uh, literature and the practice of uh, adult education would be enriched. This quote was uh, written by Tom and Sock in the in 1994 in um, Kuhn and Quickly uh, articles of books, okay? Now today I'm going to divide the topic into two parts. The first part is about how are you going to develop uh, action research project. The second part is what are the benefits in using action research approach. Okay, first part, how do you um, develop action research project? So in order to develop action research project, we need to uh, suggest by Kuhn and quickly, we need to know the three phases. What are the three phases? The three phases are planning phase, action phase, and reflection phase. So first of all, we need to look, we look at uh, planning phase, okay? Now planning phase has three steps. What are the three steps? The three steps I'm going to go through anyway. Okay, the first step, uh, understanding the problem. For understanding the problem, you need to know what are the problems exist and try to state that in one sentence. I mean, what is the problem exists? Try to state that in one sentence. And then you need to know why the problem exists and what do others see, see it. And also you need to know, have studies been done in these issues before and what others say in the literature. And you also need to know, is this a problem you want to spend time on? And uh, is anyone agree to help you? And also you need to know what are the obvious reasons for the um, uh, causes or the reasons for the problem. And then you list any um, initial ideas you have on how to intervene, all right? Now we come to the step two of the planning phase, which is to define the project. To define the project, you can ask yourself, how can you um, intervene with a new strategy, strategy or approach to see if it will make a difference? And what can you do differently? How would you do it? And describe the proposed intervention in the general terms. And when will you begin? And explain why? And also, can you ask, can you conduct a project in a way that allows you to observe and manage activities? And how will you manage the effects uh, that will result? And also, what materials or equipment will you use? And explain why? And whose approval is needed? You need to all know all this. There's a lot you, you need to know. And how will you inform the participants or and gain their consent? And uh, how will you explain to your participants about your project? And what do you do if some of them do not want to participate? Think. 
So next one is you need to know is another hard way, but you know it is definitely a good a good approach. So which colleagues would you like to discuss? And also ask which colleagues would you like to evaluate your work? And with whom can you discuss this plan along the way? And who will uh, help you to success um, at the conclusion? All right. Now step three of the planning phase is to determine the measures. So you need to specify current or the past baseline that we will use as a point of comparison, like how would you compare the new approach to the old approach, and specify the criteria for success, and describe the reason for the criteria, and what is the timeline for the evaluation, and for exactly how long should you run the project, and specify the method to use to collect the data, and how will action and change be observed and documented, and how can you observe the project in a systematic way, and what might discourage you to finish the project? Too many things to remember. Okay, last phase. <sighs> Finally, last phase. Action phase. Action phase is actually continuation from the previous phase, which is uh, which is the um, planning phase. Uh, it is a step three continuation of step three. So step four is belongs to action phase, which is implementing the action and observing the result. What do you do here? Here you can ask yourself, are you staying true to your initial plan or are you collecting the data, the, data uh, uh, the way you say you would? Are you, are you collecting, data collecting um, system can help you to keep the close contact uh, track on uh, what is going on? And are you keeping in touch with your colleagues so as to support and in seeing you through the project? And also and help to formulating ideas of what maybe the next iteration of the project and also you have you provide a summary of the uh, that data collected ah, too much oh, the next one the final one is the reflection phase reflection phase is continuation for action phase is step five and step six so step five evaluating the results what do you do what do the data review about the problem and intervention what were your criteria for success or were your criteria for success met and how far were you from attaining them and what were the tangible games if any okay what do other things about your project oh, problem okay the last one is reflecting on the project how do you reflect on the project so how you can ask something like how could you repeat this uh, intervention or have you repeated also asked to uh, to have developed more validity or will you enter a second cycle of the uh, intervention? If not, discuss why not. Hmm. Hard. <laughs> now, we come to the second part of my topic where you can describe and know the benefits of using action research approach. The benefits of using action research approach we have to see and look into the detail of the six steps that are ranging from planning phase to the reflection phase. So first step is understanding the problem. What can you see the benefit in understanding the problem? From here, you can find out students' expectations for, uh, for the class. And here, you can find out the student abilities and their uh, prior knowledge of the subject and avoid Boredom result from prescribed and uh, inflexibility of their mis atmosphere. For define the project, why can you see the benefit? Hmm. Define the project. Okay, you can shift the focus from the questions to the students and make aware of the importance of the uh their, the, the adult learners' experience and expectations. How nice! So then you can evaluate the expectations. Number three, to determine the measures. Hmm? What can you see in determine the measures? Well, here the classroom climate, the method and the techniques in use, and the exchange of ideas, and the number of times the students provide the questions, and how you can see how the instructors respond to the questions. Very good. Number four is implementing the result, action, and observing the results. Why can you see the benefit in here? Well, here you know that 
we stress uh, the, if, uh, the Asian research approach is stressed on the personal goals, the goals, course goals, of course, as well as the methods, the techniques, and, uh, te the techniques and also the materials. Yeah, you can ask students to evaluate your course and also to evaluate the expectations of the course. How nice. So here you can also attend to students' self-assessment and their goals. And then you can uh, plan how to deal with the self-assessment and goals. Magic. Okay, next one is the um, evaluating the result and the uh, reflection on the project. Two of them put into one, okay? Two steps put into one. Okay. You can see student personal goals from here. You can see student diversity. You can see students' ideas, which provide a chance for the instructor oh, bonus to know and deal with uh, planning and planning for the further learning or better learning and teaching strategies. That's all for my topic today. In conclusion, what we learned today, mm, remember, we learned that today in research, um, action research project is something that the uh, researchers bring to the professionals, researchers, educators, bring them together and to discuss and collaborate what they have in their minds. Creepy. <laughs> and uh, another one is what do you know about Asian research approach? Very important. Asian research approach has three phases. Three phases, planning, action, and reflection phases. Okay, very important. And then how do you know the benefits of using Asian research approach? Well, this is a, a very tricky part, but you, can, you have to look detail into the six steps that were mentioned before without understanding the problem to determine the project and uh, sorry define the project and then determine the measures and also to uh, implement the action and also mean the results and also to evaluating the results and then reflecting on the project is it hard <laughs> okay Thank you for tuning in today. Please do subscribe and like my video. And uh, until next time, thank you and stay safe.